Hello, this is Carson Cook, your CSO Pro, and welcome to the channel. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any of our future uploads. Enjoy the video. Hello, good morning or afternoon, wherever you are. Again, welcome to the CSO Pro. Uh, my name is Carson Cook, and again, today what we're gonna be talking about is actually a very, very, very fun uh, sales training topic. Uh, which is awesome. It's one of the techniques and tools that we use uh, to train our sales guys, also groups of sales professionals out there. Uh, it's actually a very, very fun thing. It's a series of three different things, uh, three different things, and we're not gonna tell you what those three things are yet. Um, I mean, we're actually gonna be in a couple other videos, but we're gonna launch this one and we'll, we'll, we'll provide links to the description below and make sure that we have it edited and everything. Um, but we have three different day challenges that we do, like the 24 day challenge. We have, we have a three day challenge, a three day communication challenge that we do um, with every single one of our sales reps, whether they're brand new or even you know highly experienced. Um, this is something that's very fun. It's something you know very good to do. It's a, uh, you keep all your progress in a, in a journal, but it's a very, very simple, simple thing. And it, and it, 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 works, it works magic, guys. Um, and what this is, we call this the day of conversation challenge. All right, now what this is, this is actually helps you kind of um, you know, get used to the first seven second bias, breaking the ice with people. Uh, it helps with your storytelling techniques. It helps with your rapport building skills, um, all sorts of stuff, putting you outside of the comfort zone. Now, uh, the funny part about sales, okay? Sales is putting yourself um, in awkward situations. When we're dealing with clients, you're gonna be in uncomfortable situations. That's why not a lot of people like sales, but it actually can be fun. Um, you know, at the end of the day, when you kind of don't give a shit, I know that sounds a little weird, but you don't care what other people think of you, okay? Uh, when you kind of work with a client and they, you know, whatever, then it helps let your guard down. It actually brings out a lot more honesty with you, uh, with yourself. You kind of project a lot of honesty, which is perfect, exactly what you need to sell. Um, so one of the things that we do with our guys to kind of help with this, okay, is we have uh, three different challenges. One's day of conversation. We, we go out and we start random conversations with complete strangers. Uh, this is gonna help you break out of your comfort zone. You're, you're gonna be uncomfortable a lot in sales, you know, dealing with certain situations or objections, making you nervous, like you're in the spotlight. Uh, a good sales professional is comfortably uncomfortable, if that makes sense. A great sales professional, a great communicator can be very comfortably uncomfortable, okay? So they could be giving a speech or a talk or working with their client. Um, they could be put in an awkward situation and they could be very uncomfortable, but you're not gonna tell the difference because they're, they're actually comfortable being uncomfortable, if that makes any sense. How do you do that, okay? How do you do that? If I'm new in sales, Carson, what do I do? You know, what are some of the things that I can really kind of speed up my learning? Well, you gotta put yourself out there. You know, um, a good example is one of the best ways that I actually learned how to swim very well was, uh, you know, I was having trouble with it. My dad, uh, you know, kicked me in the pool. He just kicked me right in. Uh, it was sink or swim. And I actually learned how to swim quickly that way. Now it sounds a little weird, but that I, I appreciate that, if that makes sense. You know, le you know, lessons, you know, did a great job with that. But at the end of the day, guys, you gotta jump in. You gotta jump in, you gotta learn how to swim. The best way to do it is do it in a setting that's non-threatening to your paycheck. Do it in a setting that is non-threatening to anything else. And who, who gives a shit? Okay, who, who cares what other people think about you in this? This is a challenge. You can even tell them the truth. This is just a challenge and I'm, I'm here to do this. So with the day of conversation, this is awesome. Um, you need to make sure that you go out, you spend a full day, you know, whether it's on the subway or walking in the park or you know going to buy your coffee, okay? Is you need to have 10 full conversations with, with 10 random people. Now these people need to be 100% random. Random, completely people you've never met before, okay? And the most important about this, this day is at the end of the day, you need to take every conversation and revert back to number three. You need to have observation. You need to reflect on what took place and you need to recognize the difference between your tone of voice, the word choice that you use, the progress that you made in each conversation, the difference between conversation one versus conversation number 10. Now what this is gonna do is this is gonna help. Now let me give you a good example. The other day we, we, were, we were having a training, okay, in a corporate office that actually had a Starbucks downstairs. We sat down and we said, okay, let's go do this in action. We're all gonna go downstairs, we're gonna sit at Starbucks and we're gonna order some coffee. Now we wanna make sure that we put ourselves in a good setting um, to start a conversation. So I went and got our coffee, uh, two or three other colleagues got their coffee and then we all sat down at a table and said, okay, we're gonna start the day of conversation now. Let's say it's, you know, it's, uh, it's nine o'clock in the morning. We're gonna go ahead and do this. So I'm gonna start first, 
Okay, I always do this by, I'm, I'm just gonna go do it right now. I got my coffee. Okay, I found this young lady um, who actually was, um, you know, she was starting a dog business, believe it or not. And we've got a long story short, it turns out that she actually, uh, one of her good friends was a friend that I knew back in high school. We were in a completely different city in a completely different state. So I walked up and I said, hey, can I join you? And she says, yes, uh, sh or, or sure. Very confused look on her face makes me, unfeel, makes me feel uncomfortable. That part of communication would make anyone feel uncomfortable. But I said, listen, um, we, I've got a group of friends here and we're kind of working on some communication techniques uh, and kind of you know, helping build up a little bit of confidence within our sales professionals. So we, we have this thing called the day of conversation. So my job today is to actually go out, sit down with 10 random people and have just an awesome conversation. A coffee shop is a perfect place to do that. What do you think? Can I sit down, can we talk? Sure. So I, she said, oh, okay, that broke down the barrier. I just told her the truth. I didn't lie at all. I said, this is what I'm doing. I'm, I have this thing called the 10 day challenge, or sorry, the, the day of conversation challenge. I sat down, I said, so let me start off. My name's Carson, again, like I said, what's your name? Um, you know, her stater name was Michelle. We sat down and then after that, we got to, we got to know each other. I said, well, let's, let's open it up. Uh, just to break the ice of it, I'll tell you one thing about me and then you tell me one thing about you. And she goes, okay, great. So I said one thing about myself and I said, tell me, now tell me about yourself. So she told me where she worked. She told me what job she kind of had. Uh, she told me that she was struggling with having the, the courage to actually open up this business. So I talked to her about, you know, these are some of the things that you can do to not worry about opening up a brand new business. I mean, it's America, you know, open dream, da, da, da. I said, well, thanks a lot for the conversation. I really appreciate it. And then I shook her hand and I, and I walked away. Okay, so you could see throughout the day that I did the same challenge with everybody else and it was the whole, whole day of training was that challenge. And we went to a city park, we went to a bowling alley, believe it or not, a bowling alley. Uh, and we sat down and we walked and we had conversations with random people. And what we could see is that the people that were very reserved, the people in the group that, you know, when I first made that introduction to the, the training course, my hand went up like this. I said, well, uh, can you please state your name? Well, hi, my name's, my name's John and I work with, uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. That's it, that's all you get. Okay, now the person that's like, hey, my name's John, I work with this company, we sell this awesome product, and you know, you could tell that at the end of the day, that after the day of conversation, okay, their tank was full of confidence. Your tank was full of confidence. So you do actually have the ability to start random conversations with regular people. And what that does, that puts you in a power position to where when you're selling a product, when you have an appointment on the books, or you have a guaranteed phone call, and even if it's someone you've never met, at least someone's touched base, you're you having a better opportunity than you know, being able to go talk with random people. Another thing, this also will help you with self-prospecting. If you're cold calling, if you're walking door to door, business to business, uh, face to face with people you've never met, this is gonna really, really, really help you break down the ice. It's gonna help you, uh, especially when you do this, remember this is not about business. This is not about business. The day of conversation is not about business. The day about conversation is full rapport. This is about you getting to know random people. And you believe it or not, I actually have, I can count on my hand probably three friends that I have made from this very challenge. Three personal friends of mine that I have in my cell phone that I call on a regular day basis. Um, and one friend that I met doing this actually, um, you know, trusts me enough to, um, you know, to watch their house, if that makes any sense. So believe it or not, this works very well, guys. This is a great tool that you can use to help better your interpersonal communication, especially in dealing with sales. This is gonna get your team, this is gonna get yourself better at self-prospecting, starting that first uh, process on the sale. It'll also help you over the phone. Um, when you get used to talking to random people and you can bring that barrier down or that wall that you have at a social construct that says why well, everybody needs to mind their own business. Well, there's some tools to this too. You need to observe, you need to make sure too that you take back your observations. Okay, now if I walk up to a random person and they're very rude and you know, let's say we're in, let's say we're in New York and they're like, oh, we're very, not the New York people are rude or anything, but it's a very all business type of state, which is awesome. So those people need answers quickly. And it's not a lot of time to build up rapport and relationships, it's quick. Okay, so if it's the same kind of thing, you need to observe someone comes up and they're very rude, you need to take a step back and say, okay, well, don't let that hurt you, because who cares, first off. Second off, did I go in with the right approach? Was it the wrong setting of the sale when I started try to start my random conversation? Like, were they busy? Now, don't go up to someone who's busy. That's their personal bubble. That's their personal space. You know, um, you know, if someone's jogging, you don't want to say, hey, I have this day of conversation. Stop right here. We got to talk. Okay, that's not gonna work. That's not a good seven second bias. If someone's sitting in the park feeding the birds, you might be able to go up and have a conversation. 
So observe, guys, observe and take what you learned from this challenge um, and, and write it in a journal. Write down each of the 10 conversations. Okay, and do this on a regular basis, guys. Reserve one day a month if you're a sales professional to just at least try this. If you're sitting on a subway somewhere and someone looks bored, walk up and talk to them. If they look sad, maybe you should walk up and you know ask what's wrong, see if you can lend some assistance. But at the end of the day, the day of conversation, guys, is all about conversing and learning from your conversing, not just doing the action, but observing your results, observing how well do you talk to random people. They say the best sales professionals out there were like those ones in high school, those guys in high school, those girls in high school that had their different cliques, but they got, a well, they got well along with everybody. They got along well with the jocks, the sports guys, the, the nerds, the, the, they, they were the people that didn't really care. They, they got along well with everybody. That's because they can build rapport with every type of person. And that's what we need to learn here is that in, in your observation, you need to learn how to build rapport with random people. Okay, so that is the day of challenge, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Um, we should have those other three days coming up here shortly. Um, and make sure, like I said, I'll post the links in the description below. Um, but I'll see you soon. Thanks.